everyone. Who's ready to get singing today? We have a couple songs lined up and a game to introduce later, so stay tuned. The first song I want to sing today is Follow the Prophet. We did this back a couple weeks ago with a fun cup rhythm. If you want to learn that cup rhythm and haven't watched that video yet, go back and find it in more virtual singing time. For today, I want to march when we sing Follow the Prophet. Will you practice that with me? Stand up. Now, we don't just have to march in place, we can march around the room. Let's try it out. Ready? Here we go. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet. Isn't that fun? We'll do that when we get to the chorus. We're also going to sing the two verses that we learned. The first one is about Adam, and then we'll sing the last verse about the world today. We'll do the choruses in between and after. Are you ready to get singing? Just give it your best. Here we go. Adam was a prophet. First one that we know. Adam was a prophet. First one that we know. In a place called Eden, he helped things to grow. Adam served. Adam served the Lord by following his ways. We are. We are his descendants in the latter days. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, don't go astray. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow He knows, he knows the way. All right, next verse, the last verse. Now we have a world where people, now we have a world where people are confused. If you don't, if you don't believe it. Go and watch the news. We can, we can get direction all along our way. If we heed, if we heed the prophets, follow what they say. March, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet. Don't go astray. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet. He knows the way. Awesome job. I like that song because the message is so true. If we want help and direction, especially in the world right now, we need to follow the prophet. All right, the next thing that I want to do today is read a scripture passage. For today, I would like you to read along with me. Will you go and grab a Book of Mormon and turn to 3rd Nephi chapter 11? Press pause so that you have enough time to do that. All right, do you have your scriptures ready? Let me write down the passage for you that we're going to be turning to in case you're not quite there yet. We're going to be reading in 3rd Nephi. We're going to be doing chapter 11 today and chapter 17. I would like you to read along with me. This is a very special story in the Book of Mormon. It might even be my favorite one. So if you've been reading the Book of Mormon or the Come Follow Me lessons and studying with your family, you've probably heard about the Nephites and the Lamanites and other special characters in the Book of Mormon. Right now, we're studying about some wicked people in the Book of Mormon who forgot to remember Heavenly Father and fought in wars. And in another part of the world, the people who didn't believe Jesus Christ crucified him and he died. While this was going on, there were tempests, big storms, fires, earthquakes, and then the world got very dark and very quiet. Does that sound scary? After all of these things, something miraculous happened. This is what we're going to be reading about today. So again, 3rd Nephi 11. I'm going to start in verse 1, but I'm not going to read every single thing through. I'm going to read important parts of these verses that I want to teach you about today. In a minute, we're going to be singing a song that goes along with this special story from the scriptures. So 3rd Nephi chapter 11, verse 1. Now it came to pass that there were a great multitude gathered together of the people of Nephi. And while they were thus conversing one with another, they heard a voice, as if it came out of heaven. 
They did hear the voice and open their ears to hear it, and their eyes were towards the sound thereof. And they did look steadfastly towards heaven from whence the sound came. The voice which they heard said unto them, Behold my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, in whom I have glorified my name. Hear ye him. And behold, they saw a man descending out of heaven, and he was clothed in a white robe, and he came down and stood in the midst of them. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. And behold, I am the light and the life of the world. Arise and come forth unto me, that me thrust your hands into my side, and that you may feel the prints of the nails in my hands and in my feet, that ye may know that I am the God of Israel and the God of the whole earth, and have been slain for the sins of the world. And it came to pass that the multitude went forth. Isn't that a miracle? Can you imagine getting to be there to see and hear these things? When I think about meeting and seeing Jesus Christ, it makes me feel so warm and happy inside. This is what our song talks about today. It's called, This is My Beloved Son. We learned this song in virtual singing time back in March. So if you want to learn this song further than what we're doing today, you can go back and rewatch that video. Today we're going to learn the second verse, which tells the story of these Nephites and Jesus Christ coming down to meet them. Can I sing it to you? Go ahead and listen to it and then I'll teach it to you, all right? It says, Nephites gazing into heaven saw their white robed Savior come and they heard the Father witness, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. Do you recognize that song? It has a beautiful melody and beautiful message. Do you think you can learn that with me today? Now, wait. The first part says, Who was gazing into heaven? What were the name of the people in this story? The... The Nephites, Nephites gazing into heaven. Nephites gazing into heaven. Will you sing that and do the action with me? Your turn, here we go, ready? Nephites gazing into heaven. There we go, and what did they see? It describes Jesus Christ as being in a white robe. Saw their white robe, Savior come. Will you try that with me? Saw their white robed Savior come. Here we go. Saw their white robed Savior come. One more time. Saw their white robed Savior come. Saw their white robed Savior come. Awesome. Can we put those two parts together? I think so. Nephites gazing where? Into heaven. Saw who? Their white robe savior come. Ready? Nephites gazing into heaven. Saw their white robe savior come. Good. We're almost done with this whole verse. All right. So the last part says, And they heard the Father witness. This is my beloved son. Hear him. Who's the father that they heard? And who's the son? Can you tell me? Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, right? They actually heard the voice of God telling them about Jesus Christ. And they heard the Father witness like we could see and hear it too. This is my beloved son hear him. Will you try that with me? Put your hand on your ear like you're going to hear. And they heard. Sing it. Here we go. And they heard the Father witness. This is my, this is my beloved son. Hear him. Hear him. Awesome.
Awesome. You've learned the whole first verse. Let's put it together with the background track this time. It's okay if you don't know it 100%. We're going to be learning another song later, and we got to finish our story, so I want to get to that too. Let's start with the beginning of the second verse of Hear Him, Nephites Gazing into Heaven. Ready? I need to get ready, actually. Hold on. Here we go. This is my beloved son. Nephites gazing into heaven. Nephites gazing into heaven. Saw. Saw there might no Savior come. And they heard. And they heard the Father witness. This is mine. This is my beloved son. Hear him. Hear him. Should we do that one more time? Nephites gazing. job. Did you know that the people listened to what God had to say? Jesus Christ stayed with the people and he taught them. Let's read more about what that says in the scriptures. So now we're going to turn and flip your pages to 3rd Nephi chapter 17. Will you do that really quickly? Let me get mine ready too. So like we said, the people were hearing Jesus Christ, and he taught them many important things. Then later, another miracle happened in 3 Nephi chapter 17. I'm going to start with verse 5. And it came to pass that when Jesus had thus spoken, he cast his eyes round about again on the multitude, and beheld they were in tears, and did look steadfastly upon him as if they would ask him to tarry a little longer with them. And he said unto them, Behold, my bowels are filled with compassion towards you. Have ye any that are sick among you? Bring them hither. And it came to pass that when he had thus spoken, all the multitude with one accord did go forth with their sick and their afflicted, with their lame and their blind, with their dumb and with all them that were afflicted in any manner. And he did heal them every one as they were brought forth unto him. And it came to pass that he commanded that their little children should be brought. So they brought their little children and set them down upon the ground round about him. And Jesus stood in the midst and the multitude gave way till they had all been brought to him. Let me show you that picture real quick. And when he had said, oh, and they arose from the earth, and he said unto them, Blessed are ye because of your faith, and now behold, my joy is full. When he had said these words, he wept, and the multitude bare record of it, and he took their little children one by one and blessed them, and prayed unto the Father for them. And they saw angels descending out of heaven, and encircled those little ones about. And the multitude did see and hear and bear record, and they did know that their record is true, for they, all of them, did see and hear every man for himself. Often when I read this passage of scripture, I cry because I think of what it would be like to be around Jesus Christ and see him perform these miracles and love these people so much. Do you know anybody that's sick or hurt that could be healed by Jesus Christ? Can you imagine what it would have been like to be a little child and get to meet him? To see the angels come down and be blessed by him and by them? He loved those little children and he loves you too. What a blessing it is to get to feel his spirit and his love for us every day. We can't see him and be with him right now, but we can feel his love and his spirit as we think about him and do the things that he wants us to do. 
All right, there's one more song that I want to learn today. Are you ready for it? Now, there's a couple of other verses to this song. We're going to start with those first. This song is Book of Mormon Stories. We've learned the first and second verse, and we'll go ahead and sing the first verse right now. And then I want to teach you the last verse of Book of Mormon Stories. Are you ready for that? This will be our last song for today. The first one says, Book of Mormon Stories that my teacher tells to me. Will you try to sing that with me? Stand up and try the actions and sing along. Let's go. Book of Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me. Here we go. Book of Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me are about We're going to use that again in just a second. I want to teach you the last verse of this song. Did you know there's eight verses to Book of Mormon stories? The last verse tells the story that we just read about Jesus Christ coming to visit the Nephites again. It talks about the children, like you, that Jesus Christ loved. This song says, After Christ was crucified and died for you and me, do you remember that happened to Jesus Christ? He died for all of us. He was our Savior. Will you sing that part with me? Listen to it one more time. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. Can you sing that special part of the song? After Christ was crucified. Ready? After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. What did he do? He came to visit these people. He taught them, right? We say, He came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Okay, can we sing that part? It's true in our story of all the important things that he told them. He taught them about baptism, repentance, missionary work, the sacrament, and he called disciples to preach after he left. Those are the things that he taught, and we can learn his truths even today. All right, let's sing that. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Ready? He came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Can we put those two parts together? After Christ was crucified and died for you and me, he came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Let's sing it together. Here we go, after. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. He came forth. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Great job. We're almost done with this song. Like the story says, hands were laid upon each child he blessed them tenderly. Will you sing that part? Like we're giving a blessing with our hands. Hands were laid upon each child. He blessed them tenderly. And then the ending. And they lived in the land righteously. Will you try that part with me too? And they lived in the land righteously. Little slower. Ready? And they lived in the land righteously. And this is true. The people who were there and witnessed these miracles and saw Jesus Christ did live righteously for a little while. You'll have to read the rest of the Book of Mormon to find out how this story ends as more and more people make choices in the Book of Mormon. All right, let's put this whole verse together. It was a quick learn, but you can learn this song more and keep practicing it throughout the week. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me, he came forth
truth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Hands were laid upon each child. He blessed them tenderly, and they lived in the land righteously. Can we sing that all together now with the background track? Stand up and sing it with me as reverently as you can as we tell this special story through our primary song. Here we go. Oh, maybe you hold on. A little bit of an intro. Okay, after Christ was crucified, after Christ was crucified, he died for the traditional game of tic-tac-toe where you use X's and O's. For this game, you'll need to follow the link below this video and either print or look at the tic-tac-toe board that's created and the prompts and questions that go along with it. While you play this special game of tic-tac-toe, each of the squares has a different number. In the printable link below, there's a set of questions for you to answer. 
for each space that you want to fill, as you play one team of X's versus another team of O's, you have to answer a question and sing a song before you get to cross off that space. For example, let's say you wanted to do space number five. The question that goes along with this is to sing or say the books of the Book of Mormon in the correct order. We learned a song that can help us to do that, and it might be a fun challenge. All of the songs that go along with these questions are in the printable link for you to sing together as a family. If you get the correct answer, and if you sing the song, then you get to mark off your space with an X or an O. But you have to get three in a row to win. Now, if you need more explanation, and as you will need help setting this game up, make sure that you ask your parents and you can play together as a family. Like I said, that doesn't have to be today. You can play this game some other time. As I mentioned before, I am sad to close this chapter of virtual singing time. I have so enjoyed singing with all of you. I will miss it. But know how much I love you and I'm grateful for you. Know how important the primary songs are, the lessons that they teach that Heavenly Father wants you to know. Please keep singing and please find more ways to get these primary songs involved with your whole family so that you can learn and fill the spirit. Until next time, goodbye primary kids.